What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over the problem small factorial, which is basically you're given n and you need to calculate n factorial, okay? So the problem about this problem is that n is between 1 and 100. And this is a problem because at the last value of 100, if I do 100 factorial right, I'm going to get an overflow. So that's not a good idea. Right. If you get an overflow, this is a huge problem. So in Java, you, there's a way to do it where you use big integer class, which is basically they convert into strings and then they do the operation for you to print out large numbers. In C++, you cannot do that, right? So I'm actually going to explain a better way to do it in C++ is how to multiply numbers, uh, avoid overflow using arrays. So the maximum possible value for an unsigned int is 2 to the 32 minus 1. So you get an overflow from if you get past this. And the maximum value for a 64 long int is 2 to the 64 minus 1. A digit of 100 factorial is going to have at most probably 200 digits, any digits. So the best way to do this is actually create arrays, an array of 200 values, a size 200, and then multiply it by yourself. Let's say I have a number 120. Okay, so in I'm going to create an array of 200 with all the values and array of zero is going to have zero array of one is going to have value two and array of two is going to have value one okay so this one two zero is going to be represented as an array of size 200 and this is going to be the zeroth place one place and this is going to be the two the second place okay so that's what it's going to do now let's say we have a value of 45 and we want to multiply it with a value 37. Initialize 45, starting with uh, a at zero is gonna be five and a at one is gonna be four. So this is gonna represent each digits of a one zero in this array. Let's call m is going to be the number of digits of our number, first number. So number of digits of our first number. And this is gonna equal to two because that's how many digits we have. There's only two digits, right? There's 45, there's two digits, four and five, okay? So now, if we're gonna multiply this number 45 by 37, what are we gonna do? For starters, we're gonna loop through this array from index zero up to one, okay? So index zero up to one. Index zero up to one, right? It's because we only have two digits here. And we're gonna actually multiply each number in each digit here by 37, right? Because that's how that's how you integer integer multiplication works, right? You if you were to do it normally, you use seven times five, 35 you carry the three, seven times four is 28, plus three is 31. Then we do three times five is 15, carry the one, 12 plus one is going to be 13. Then we have five, six, six, one, one six six five, right? So we're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to take 5 times 37. So to do 5 times 37, I'm going to first move this. We are going to get 185. Okay. So now if you're going to do this regular multiplication, you have to carry the 1 and do every single carry, right? When you, when you do integer multiplication and division, right? So what am I going to do from here now? We are going to have a temporary variable called temp and initialize it to 0. Then at every single iteration, we are going to add, uh, we're going to multiply our each our x value by every single value in this index, and we're going to add it to temp. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So in this case, we had took 37 multiplied by 5, which is going to give us 185, and we have to add it to temp. Okay, so temp is going to, um, 185 plus temp of 0 is going to give us 185. New value at the current index, A of index, so at the current index that I'm looping through, is going to equal to the last digit that we just added. So this last digit, of 5, we're going to mod by 10, right, to get this last digit of 5. So this is going to still equal to 5, right? Right? And then temp, we're going to carry the rest of this value. So this value of temp is going to get added. So temp is going to actually now get added to the rest of the value, which is 18. Basically just like carrying the leftover to the other side when you're doing regular multiplication. Now the next iteration of index of one is equal to four, right? We're gonna multiply this fourth value 
by the same number that we had 37 and now we're going to get and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and add it with 18. So our temporary value is 18 so we're going to have 148 plus 18 and we're going to get 61166. Okay? Now at 166 this current value of the ones place of this 6 right this current value of the ones place of 6 is now going to re get replaced. So this is going to this digit a of 1 is going to actually going to equal to 6 right because we're getting the ones digit of six and the rest of temp is going to get equal now to 16 okay now we have six five and 16 right six five for this and 16. now our number of digits is over because we're done iterating through all our digits but we still have value in temp right so what we're going to do is that we are going to append it the last digit of our temp and we're going to append it to our array. So our array currently have is 5, 6, right, at the 0th and 1's place, right? Now we're going to append the last digit of temp, which is a 6, and append it here. So now this is at the, appendix, uh, at the end of the, the value. Then we just divide temp by 10 to get 1. Then we have 1. Now we're going to append this value again, because right, we divide by 10, we have, now we have 1. We're going to append this value again to the end of this by modding it by 10. So now it's going to have one here and then we divide by 10 so, so then we get we we're done with our temp array it's now equal to zero so now we have five six six one now our answer is going to be five six six one and then we just looped from the end of the array so here we have five six six one we're going to start at the last digit of four and we're going to loop to the from the beginning down to zero so now we have four is going to print out one six six five which is going to be our answer in our in our end result so that's basically how you do this problem and i basically explained how you would do it you basically add multiply each digit by the value you're going to multiply by and then you carry the remainder and continue doing this so yeah each time you append the value into your end array and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'm going to show you the code now and then yeah, I'll explain the code. Explain the code. So first we read in the test cases and then we read while T minus minus we do this. We're going to read in our value of N, which is the value we need to calculate N factorial of. We create our array A of 200 digits, right? So A is going to have 200 digits. We initialize the first digit to one because this is the first value that we have to multiply it with, right? We have to do one times one, uh, one times two, one times three, one, uh, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 all the way up to whatever value of n is right and we're going to create our initial m which is the number of digits we have originally is going to equal to 1. so now i'm going to bring start my for loop and my for loop is going to start from 1 up less than or equal to n and the reason why i do less than or equal to n because we want to multiply all the values from 1 up to n and uh, those are the values we want to in include n right we're not just excluding n we have to multiply all values from one to n so if n is five we have to multiply all values from one two three four five right we create a temporary number which is going to be the carry that we're going to pass in over to the next value that we're going to do okay so now we're going to loop through all of our integers in our array and initial integers in our array this is going to represent the multiplying every single digit in our initial value by the number i right so here our for loop i equals 1 to n or well, less than you go to n this i we're going to multiply i by whatever our current number is for each of our digits of our current number and we're going to keep track of that and update it every single time so it's going to be multiply 1 by 1 then it's going to multiply 2 by that value then 3 by that value 4 by 5 by 5 by that value all the way up to n okay so that's why we have this index this loop goes through all the number of digits that we're currently going up to. So it's multiplying every single digit. Okay, now we have the integer x is going to equal to the current i. So this i represents the, the current, all the numbers are adding up, multiplying to, right? So we have 1 times 2 times 2 times 4 times 5. This i represents the current number we're multiplying. So if we're multiplying like 2 by the number, then 3 by the number, 4 by number, 5 by number, that's what this i represents, right? It's a value we're going to multiply by. 
AI index is going to represent the current index at the digit that we're multiplying by. So this actually represents where this is the value we're multiplying by every single digit, right? So I remember our current number, we have that current number and we're going to have to multiply every single digit in our current number by I, right? That's what we have to do. And this, um, we're going to add by 10 because like I explained in our previous solution, that's what we have to do. After that, I set A at index is going to equal to the last digit of X that we multiply by over. And then I divide temporary, our temporary variable is going to be with a carryover. And the carryover is whatever value that we had originally divided by 10. Okay, because that's going to give us the carryover. So this represents storing the last digit of our carryover. And then this is going to store the carry, right? So like, yeah. That's what it's going to store. At the end, while my temporary, uh, the, the while the leftover is greater than zero, what we're going to do is we are going to add whatever value appended to the end of our array. That's what we're going to do. So that's what this does. So I A at the number of digits is going to equal to temp mod by 10, right? So that appends it every single last digit to the end of the array. And while this is happening, I'm also increasing M plus plus. So this is going to add the number of digits by one after every single iteration afterwards. So after this is set, it's going to add M by one. Okay. That's what it is. This is post incrementation. That's what it is doing. And then I divide by temporary by 10 every single time, because that's the, uh, I'm appending every single digit from our temp, our leftover carry to the end. Okay. At the end, we are going to, start our counter is going to equal to m minus one which is the number of digits minus one because that's what we're storing the, the array from we are indexing it from zero so that's what we have to do that for that's what we have that for and then while it's greater than or equal to zero i i minus minus and i print out every single digit and then at the end i just print out a new line so that yeah that's basically how you do this problem this was a pretty pretty cool trick that you learn about how to multiply numbers by doing integer multiplication using arrays. It's pretty fun, pretty cool number. But yeah, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys like this video. I'll check you guys later.